Welcome to the LeapFrog BI Academy video training series on dimensional modeling. In this video, we're going to be discussing the different types of fact tables. So there are three primary types of fact tables. First, you have your transaction fact. And this is a fact table where every record in the fact table represents an in individual transaction such as the sale of an item in a store. Then you have your periodic snapshot. This is where you'll take um, a period of time, let's say a month, and you'll create a fact with a balance for that month, such as this is my account uh, balance for the month of January. That would be a single fact. Then you have your accumulated snapshot fact table. This is similar to a periodic snapshot fact table, except instead of uh, spanning time, we're going to be spanning a particular business process. So let's take a look at each of these. We're going to take a um, we're going to look at a single example for each of the three different types of fact tables. Starting out with a transaction fact table. This is a very simple example. We're looking at a fact table design that would represent um, the sale of an item, maybe an item uh, sales fact. Uh, you can see by the foreign keys that we're at the grain of, a, of time, date time, product, promotion, location, and then we have a degenerate on item ID. This is not the product ID, but this is actually the transaction item ID, I guess you could say. Then you have our, our measures, so how many were sold, what is the tax amount, the sale amount, and the item total. So if we were going to try to answer a question using a fact table like this, such as how many of X products have I sold, I would go in and add every um, quantity for that particular product from the beginning of, ti of time to now. The periodic snapshot fact table is slightly different. Now what we're doing is instead of including every single transaction in our fact table, we're bringing it up one level. And that one level is across time. So we're saying in this case, give me my account uh, balances at the monthly level. So I've got a foreign key on month, which is my date dimension. I have an account, an apartment, and a scenario, and then I have an account for a measure and an amount. So I can easily query a fact table like this and pull out um, a value that would tell me um, what was my balance in this account for this month, for example. Now an accumulated snapshot fact table, again, is very similar to the periodic snapshot with the exception that instead of spanning time, we're going to span a business process. So in, in this case, we're looking at a uh, insurance claim. Claims are um, have a clear beginning and an end. Someone files a claim, uh, the claim is paid, and eventually the, the claim is closed. So we have our foreign keys on our claim date, our paid date. We have our claim the actual insurer, it may be a location. And then our measures, we have reserved, paid, recovered, and balance. So you can see that it's um, pretty obvious that we may not know the paid date at the time a claim is originated. We more than likely will not. And uh, likewise, we won't know the paid amount. So across the, 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 um, the life of this claim, this fact that's representing the claim which is the process that this accumulated snapshot table, table is representing, this record will be updated. So you're going to have a paid date that eventually when the payment is made, that paid date will be updated to represent the actual date of the payment. Same is true for the paid amount and the balance. So there you go. That's three primary types of fact tables. There's, um, there's plenty of, of um, uh, varieties of, of these three types of fact tables. Um, but um, if you 
start out thinking about fact tables in this way and try to keep it as simple as possible, you'll usually be in good shape. Here's a few additional rules that uh, you should always keep in mind as well. First of all, ensure that you're never combining multiple grains in your fact table. If you find that you're duplicating values across multiple facts, uh, there's a good chance that you've mixed grains, so avoid that. Don't put attributes in your fact table. The fact table is for facts and for pointers to your dimensions. If you need to put them attributes somewhere that don't really fit into other dimensions, then consider creating a junk dimension. Try to keep your measures additive. Uh, this is, um, you know, it's one of those things that may not be uh, possible 100% of the time, but it makes life really easy whenever you're trying to actually use this model, whenever we know that we can always just sum up across uh, different facts. If you find that you're adding a surrogate to your fact table to uh, ensure that you um, have a unique grain, then take a closer look at that fact table, see if you maybe have missed a degenerate, for example, and be sure that you've defined the actual um, role that that fact table is playing. All right, there you have it. There's your different fact tables, a transaction, a periodic snapshot, and an accumulator snapshot. Thank you for taking the time to uh, listen to this video. Look forward to seeing you in future videos.